With me as the chairman of the Senate uh, Committee on Foreign Relations, uh, Bob Corker, Republican of Tennessee. What, what was your reaction? Uh, I imagine like every American, uh, horror. Um, this barbaric uh, leader has been doing this for years. He uh, did it in 2013. Uh, we didn't respond. Uh, there was no authorization needed, uh, just like President Trump did not need an authorization. And, and it didn't happen, and we've seen him torture his people. Uh, I know Caesar, who's documented that. This is, uh, uh, this is something that, uh, you know, I, I certainly thank Senator, I, I thanked President Trump for responding in the way that he did. But it continues. Uh, he's supported by Russia. He's supported by Iran. Um, he needs to be put away in a tribunal and locked up for life. And... Uh, Hopefully, uh, I know this has uh, captured the, the imagination, I hate to say, of the world uh, that is able to view this, but this is what we've been seeing for, uh, for years. And we visit people in refugee camps. We know this is underway. The America has stood by, as has the rest of the world, and let this occur. And as I agree, there's, there's, there's no easy answers. But uh, Russia has a window of opportunity here. Jake, I know that uh, Secretary Tillerson is meeting with them now. They have a window of opportunity to to join the international community, the civilized world, and push back against what is what Assad is doing. But you know their response. Continue. Their response is that, I mean, you know, Assad called this a fabrication, even though we saw the evidence of it just now. Uh, the Russians are part of the apparatus that says this isn't true, or this was committed by the U.S. Yeah. I mean, they just put out. Yeah. Lies, fake news, and um, yeah, the fact is, we know, and they know, we know, and uh, Lavrov and Putin understand uh, very much what has happened here. Uh, we could probably go further in our accusations, really, as it relates to Russia, if we so chose to. So, what we have now is a situation where Russia um, has a window of opportunity. Um, I know that Tillerson, as I mentioned, is exploring that right now. And do they want to stay aligned uh, with this barbaric uh, ruler who is torturing his people in prisons, cutting their genitals off? Um, is that who they want to stand with? Or do they want to join the rest of the world and, uh, and lessen, do away with the support that they have for this person? Uh, get Iran to join them, and, and uh, let's move away from what's happening. I know you have a vote, so you have to run. So I just have one more question for you, uh, if you would, and that is President Trump, um, he did do that airstrike. A lot of people were very happy about it, including a lot of people in, who were in the Obama administration. But just a few days after that airstrike, the airfield was operating again. Yeah. Um, Assad continues his, barbarity, his barbarism. Yeah. He's still kill killing innocent people every day. Yeah. Um, we're, we're, we're told now that the U.S. is going to start arming the Kurds. Yeah. What more needs to be done? Obviously, you don't support a full-scale ground invasion of the U.S., but what else needs to be done to stop this? Yeah. Well, of course, the Kurds issue is against ISIS. It's like we have two battlefronts that are taking place. It's a, it's a whole different effort in many ways. But back in 2013, there was a 10-hour operation planned, and we hit one of the airports the other day. We could hit another seven. Uh, that's what was planned at the time and what I wish would have happened at the time. I wrote the authorization for the use of force that never came to a vote in the House or Senate, and the President had that authority. And I thank the members of the administration, the former administration, that have su supported Trump. But there's more that can be done. There's more that can be done. And uh, we could basically ground much of the Air Force that operates out of there. So again, I'm not advocating that today. Again, there's a window. Let's see what Russia does. If Russia wants to continue to be a party to what's happening here, they're, they're in essence, by supporting him, they're to blame for what is happening to these people. So if this is where they want to be, uh, we'll get a clear understanding of that soon, and then the administration can plan out additional steps if necessary. Senator Bob Corker, the chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee in the Senate, thank you so much for your time. You. Really appreciate your coming thank in for this important, this important study, this important uh, show. Thanks thank so much.